South Korea is expected to terminate Jisomia, the military intel sharing pack between Japan, by Saturday, 12 a.m. Korean local time. Despite U.S. pressure on Seoul to repeal its decision to secure trilateral security cooperation, South Korea's top security officials held an early meeting on Thursday to discuss its extermination plans of the General Security of Military Information Agreement. Director of Cheongwade's National Security Office, Cheong Yong, called for the last regular session with the other members of the National Security Council Standing Committee ahead of the deadline, with rising national and transnational interest in South Korea's decision. On the same day, Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa said at the general meeting of the National Assembly Foreign Affairs and Unification Committee that Jisomia would be terminated as planned if Japan remains its current diplomatic stance. She further explained that Japan's export restrictions were in fact acts of retaliation against the South Korean Supreme Court ruling requesting for compensation of Japanese companies' use of forced laborers in Korea during World War II. Jisomia was expected to be on course to its demise with Japan showing no signs of changing its export restrictions against Korea. Just two days before the final decision, President Moon Jae-in stressed that if Japan did not want Jisomia to end, the only way would be if the country sits down with South Korea to resolve this issue along with its export controls. In a town hall meeting, President Moon made it clear that it was difficult to share military information with Japan that allegedly regards Seoul as an unreliable security partner. The president referred to Japan's export control against South Korea that became a trigger in deteriorating diplomatic relations from July. In a Q&A session with members of the general public, President Moon said that South Korea had provided great help as a breakwater for Japan's security while the U.S. provided its nuclear security umbrella. He added that Japan had paid fewer defense costs to maintain its own security thanks to South Korea's breakwater rule, and the critical Jisomia in its termination decision would be responded as it rightfully should have been responded. The decision to terminate Jisomia is not only to affect Japan and the U.S., key strategic partners mutually protecting its own national security with South Korea. However, there has been a few rising concerns domestically for the government's decision to terminate the military intelligence sharing deal with Japan. A representative figure is Hwang gyo wan leader of South Korea's biggest opposition party, Liberty Korea Party. Hwang began a hunger strike a day before South Korea's final termination decision to fend off what he called a critical national crisis that President Moon brought to national security and democracy. Until more updates, please subscribe to our channel. This is Grace Shin from Korea Now.